Okay, um, thanks everyone for coming. Um, this is a bit of a kind of extension of today's conference, I guess. Um, kind of, I was just going to explain what I'm going to um, do what, just before I do it. And it's kind of my own kind of um, investigation on the relationship between analogue and digital and how kind of we use machines to make music and yeah, something that I've kind of came about to through my own kind of playing about with making a lot of interfaces for computers and kind of thinking about how often I kind of spend time making something that's like an analog thing to control something on a computer. So you've got an analog process turning to a digital process to um, be turned back to an analog process that you hear again. And so kind of always bound up in that thing. And, and one of the things that frustrated me about playing with sort of analog stuff is um, in controlling a computer was it's kind of quite forgiving in a, in a performative sense. It's quite easy to go, go um, just go wrong and no one will really notice. Um, so what I'm going to do is try and um, clap out a sine wave um, in binary and you're going to hear the sound and hear me clap the binary too. Um, for those of you who are um, conversed in this, I've, I've done a little picture so I can bring it up. Oh. oh yeah, come to play, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, really unreal. So, um, yeah, so basically I've got a, a wave. Sorry. Yeah, th this is kind of a really bad drawing of a sine wave. They're a bit more beautiful than this. But they're the kind of quintessential sort of analog forms, I guess, in, in the sound. Because actually, when you digitize the sine wave, it's actually very hard to kind of, um, you can never perfectly grid it because it's kind of a curve you're basically putting a grid over a curve and they, it's very hard, you know, unless you get infinite resolution, you don't kind of perfectly match up. So I've got, um, yeah, I'm going for like a, basically an 800 kilohertz um, uh, sample rate, which is what telephones use, I think. Um, so that's, um, and then I'm taking samples. Yeah, I'm gonna basically tap out each sample and that's represented. I could have done a 16-bit one, but I'm going for 8-bit um, just to make the, the clapping a bit easier. Um, <laughs> and yeah, there's 50 samples, so they'll be coming in, hopefully. And so you should see it on the oscilloscope arrive. And, and basically, the, sonically, what's going to happen, hopefully, is basically the player will play back each sample as they kind of come into the, the computer. Um, so you'll be hearing whatever's being played in this really expensive sort of... Uh, uh, converter I have here. So, um, <laughs> I'm going to just try and do it so I have to think what I need to do. Okay, so I need to run the code. It's going to play, a, I've got a click track, I'm afraid, um, but I'm hearing that. And then you should see the waveform and hear it too, I hope. Um, yeah, and I have to concentrate on my clapping. So, I might stop because it might not come through, but let's have a go. Yeah, so that's my clapping.
Yeah, a little bit glitchy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh,